Hello, I'm Ellen Cody, Director of Marketing for Analux Lighting. Today I'm going to give you a very short presentation on how to retrofit a 500 watt halogen light fixture by Rambush to an Analux DL2 42 watt uh, light module with a 10 inch uh, clear anodized trim. Uh, to my right, I've made a mock up of what you might see in a typical auditorium ceiling. Uh, these, of course, are the uh, support bars that go across the purlons. So the first thing we're going to do is turn off the power. Second, we're going to disconnect the BX cable from the junction box. And now we're ready to disassemble the Rambush fixture. There are two straps that hold the, the can to the, to the base plate. Remove the clips, take off the top, and we're just going to set that aside. The next thing, there's a uh, small uh, five inch glass uh, piece or lens. We're going to set that aside. Uh, next step, there is a uh, reflector or baffle they're going to remove. It's just a compression fit. So we're just going to push that down. We're going to pull that out. And also, we're going to set that aside. Now, uh, our next step is to remove the uh, center support section. Uh, let me hold this up the camera so you can see what I have. Inside the, uh, the fixture, there's this support ring that has to come out. There are three screw posts that hold it in place. One, two, and a third one here. And that's held in place by, by three uh, uh, wing nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and take those wing nuts out right now and just show you how long it takes. So one, two, three. And this base plate, small base plate, comes off. We'll set that aside. We're not going to be using anything that I removed from that, that fixture. Now what we're left with in, in the base, all right, we can take a look, is just this round uh, nine and three quarters inch trim. Um, the screw posts uh, we're not going to remove because the trim is going to go over those. So our next step is to take our Enlux DL2 light module and our trim and assemble them. The light module has four holes at the base and it's going to line up with the four screws at the top of the trim. Place the trim and the light module together, a quarter turn, and I'm going to tighten down the screws with this nice long number one Phillips screwdriver. I'm only going to do two screws. That's plenty. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to place the trim right into the base. Now, you're ready to hook up your power, uh, but there's one other thing we have to do. We want to make sure that the uh, trim uh, does not move out of the fixture, or if someone kicks it, you know, it could, it could come out. In the, uh, in the base, of the fixture. Uh, in this particular, there's four screws. One, two, three, four. We're going to reuse those screw holes. And what I did is I, I purchased uh, these spin nuts. So I just placed the uh, spin nut over the hole and I can screw in the screw that's going to go lap over the top of the trim so it can't come out. So. In fact, I will just demonstrate. I already have these uh, in place. So that's nice and tight. I can even lift, lift, thing, lift this right up. Okay, so those screws hold it in place. And that's all there is to retrofitting a 500 watt halogen fixture to an NLX DL2 42 watt downlight. Hook up your power, you're ready to go. I'm Eldon Cody for NLX Lighting. You can reach me at NLXLED.com. Um, my cell phone number is 
0592. Call me anytime. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you. Have a nice day.